Here we are in front of the mic taking a little break. Me and Mr. Skurb had a good day today. We always want to keep you posted on what we do. Scooped up a few plants today. You know she was in heaven. I'm going to show that in a little while. We had a really fabulous walk and talk through a couple of crowded areas for a good long extended time. It'll be a while before that's up because it's a lot of video footage and you're going to love it. But anyway, I'm about to get to work. We're getting live tonight, but it's going to take a little time. We're going to be a little late. I got to put a little announcement out there. But we're sitting here. She made me a nice, nice dinner. And um, we're playing some videos and, and, and looking at it. And so I happen to play Rick Ross, Hold Me Back. And if you don't know, that's one of my motivational themes, even though it may have an abundance of words that are very spicy. But I look past that because when he made the video, he made one version in New Orleans and another version out in Nigeria. And if you can look past the cursing and some of what it, what he said, bottom line is that, you know, it's about you coming up. It's about you succeeding. It's about you taking nothing and making something out of it. And the people who really hear that, they'll, they'll look at everything else and, and not really see the core of what it is. And he has an ability to strike people where they are. A lot of us who are downtrodden or forgotten, um, he has a way of reaching them with the words and stuff like that. And you know it's a lot of entertainment. You know it's a lot of fantasy mixed in. But sometimes, you know, you could be a poor brother in the hood and you go to a nightclub or you go to a friend's house at a barbecue and you play the music loud. It takes you away the same way that it happens with people who get that feeling of euphoria when they go to church while the pastor is taking that money and bringing it to the white bankers, that white Jesus money, right? So at least he gives it to you the way that you want it, real that way. So what's real for one person may not be real for another. So Mrs. Skurve was sitting here watching it, and we, were, we had watched other videos also. Uh, we just, I just started popping off rap music, right? You know, certain parts of it. You know, all rap music is not the same. And we know after 1989, 1990, the corporate head stepped in and hijacked rap music and made it something that it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be about the guns. It's not supposed to be about just the half-naked women having sex with them and leaving them. It's not about just the money and the chains and the cars. But they made it that way. And they stoked a, a hunger in many young black youth for those things, not knowing that it was the beginning of the end. Before that, rap was fun. Before that, rap was informative. Look at Public Enemy, the things that they said. That's the real thing to teach you reality and teach you your proximity to the government and to the world around you and address the things around you instead of turning what you feel is anger in on yourself because it didn't take much with the self-hate that many of us have. So when we're taught something on a cerebral level, it kind of guides our heart how to feel. But there's always that faction, those of us who are the F-ups. I hate to say it. I hate to talk about it. I'm not trying to bring our spirits down because, you know, I'm a very motivational person. But the bottom line is that when you see, or I'm not saying you, but when many of us see one of us do good, get their hands on some money and are successful by the terms of the world, which may be a little different than my standards. Right. But they get a little money. They get out of the hood. They go back to do something nice for the neighborhood and there are some who feel like, well, you didn't do anything for me. You didn't do anything for the whole hood. One person can't do it. But if they motivate you to elevate and push and they do a little something, because that's not guaranteed that you're going to be a star next year. You might be broke again. But you have some who are just jealous, resentful because of their own shortcomings. And Mrs. Skurr pretty much came in and she said, yes, there's, she said she came to the conclusion. Now, now you have to jump in. I can't say it for you now, sister. Sister, you're still my let, sister, let but you're my wife. <laughs> Get up on that mic so we can yes, hear you now. Yes, greetings, greetings to my brothers and my sisters out there. How y'all doing tonight? Hope y'all are doing well. Um, you know, as Lance was talking and, you know, we were here and he were playing the music. I was just sitting down here and, you know, having dinner. And they playing the music and I'm listening and I'm, you know, thinking about all the things that I've seen happening to a lot of our people that, you know, get really um, successful doing good with themselves. You know, 
whether they're rapping, singing, whatever it may be, you know, in a movie or whatever. And, 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 and of course, there's much more ways to become successful. Yes, and, and it's sad it's that not, we only think that it's those things, but I just wanted to interject yeah, that. Yes, but we, what I'm saying is like these guys that, you know, rapping and doing all these things. And a lot of, of, of our sisters and brothers are very successful. Some of them are big time lawyers, doctors, and and I mean, done very well. A lot of our people have done very well with themselves. And it's a shame that a lot of times, just sitting down here, you know, I just said to Lance that, you know, I come to the conclusion why, um, or a lot of our people and that been up there doing all the doing good for themselves don't want to really come back in their neighborhood to really help because I've seen a lot of us, a lot of our young brothers and sisters got killed. You understand what I'm saying? And it's our own people do it, gun them down. You see what I'm saying? And it hurts when, when, when you have your own people gunning you down, you come back in your neighborhood or you drive down the street and, and you hear that something like that happen because it's so many rappers are getting killed too. And, and one of the reasons why I'm saying this, I don't follow too much of these things because I don't watch a lot of this, but I, I, I saw the, the trial with XXX and... His yeah, name? I, 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 I can't pronounce his name. It's three yeah. X, so I just yeah, say yeah. X X X because, yeah. uh, and um, I really never follow up with this case and everything. But the case, it, it, the trial was going on, and now the judge they hand down the the the, um, the verdict came in last week, and to see these guys, you know, these guys, these black guys. That gun him down. And I watched him. I saw the video how they watched him in that bag faces. shop. They watched him in that bag shop. And for me, all four of them, the one that, that plead guilty to get the lesser charge to testify against the other them, all four of them are guilty. You were there. You get a part of the money. You all gun this guy down. Murder him in his car. Murder him. Because they watched him. Watched him the whole time in the bag shop. Follow him around. They know who you were. And you mean to tell me that you are follow him and go and kill him. Kill him. It is so friggin' sad. And I, I just sit here and I just say, you know, it just just sitting down, you know, and, and, and listening to the the, the um the, the, the rap that was going on. It's not like I'm into it, but I'm sitting here. You can't help but hear it. Right. You see what I'm saying? And I just said that because I, it's true. Mm-hmm. When I see what is happening to our people, hell, why, why, you know, that's my thing. Why, why are you all doing these things? Why, why comes down to this, that one of the, one of our young son, nephew, you know, leave out of the neighborhood and go and do something for themselves just to get away. You understand what I'm saying? It's not everybody want to go to college. It's not everybody want to be a lawyer. It's not everybody want to be a doctor, a teacher, or whatever. You know, and some, that's the talent they have, and they want to use it in that way to do what they can do. And if they would even try to come back in the neighborhood just to even help. You think one person can help everybody? They can't. And even if 10 people come back in the neighborhood, they can't help everybody. So if somebody come in here and help one person or, or two family. That is great. You see what I'm saying? But even if they come back in the neighborhood and trying to build up the neighborhood, say, okay, I'm going to do some business in there so my, my lot of young brothers and sisters, they can get a job. And so what you going to do? They come in there and gun them down. They're going to gun them down. And that's the height of wickedness. That's evil up on top of evil. It's, it's wicked. Yeah. You know, and when I see these things are happening, it just hurt me. I don't even, a lot of time, even, even with the trial and all these stuff, and I see these guys, one of them, they're smirking, blowing kiss to somebody in the courtroom. Trust me, them guys, they need some box, pant up a box, tell them, them can't even look straight. <laughs> nah, them, them guys, that them head twist up. I'm telling you, man, for what they did, it is horribly wicked, it's evil, what they are doing. You just gun down that young man like that and just kill him like just like that and take fifty thousand. What the hell is fifty thousand? Fifty thousand is nothing. Fifty thousand is no money whatsoever. You, you get that money out, you know, splitting it up, I don't know, arguing about it too because 
People are evil. When it comes to money, people's eyes are bigger than ever. Their eyes pop out of them head when they see money. If them see you with even $100 in you and you have it in $20, $20 or $10, <laughs> their eyes pop out of their frigging head because they see money. And that's, it's, it's a lot of hate. Too much hate amongst our people. Too much hate. Huh? 50,000 can't do nothing for no ass. You know, in pre- you know, gonna go to prison for life. And all four of no ass need to go to prison. I don't care about the one about him, him, te- him, him, about him, um, plea guilty. And then he go up there with, with his, I, I don't even raggedy ass. <laughs> <laughs> raggedy ass and testifying against the other one your ass need to be sitting down there and you need to be cuffed right there when all of them cuff that same day in the court because it's the height of wickedness the height of wickedness to see a mother have to be crying the pain that she going through and she'll never stop going through that pain after you all kill her son That's and you right. have the nerves to be smirking in the courthouse. Tell me so you, your face need to be twist up left, right, and center, man. Seriously. The things that, that y'all doing, y'all doing it with eight. May I tell you, a lot of you pack with demons, tell you no know, can't pack with demons anymore. And that's why <laughs> you know, behave in a, this kind of man I want to behave. This is not a joke about what's going on. This is some serious stuff. And people need to get up and look into themselves what is really going on with them. You understand? Get to no ass together. I don't know, give nobody nothing to put on. So if people coming out on me about that, if I help, you know, if you don't see people going about their business, I don't see people in a store. You know, I watch them off, I hijack them car. I don't know, only I jack them car and take with them. You know, killing them. That's the height of wickedness. That's wickedness. Why, why then? Okay. So for instance, you don't have no right to do that, but you better you know, take him money and let him go. Give, leave him with his life. No, but they, but they don't want to do that because he's going to go on to make more money that uh-huh, they can't that's have. Eight. See, 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 when people are envious of you, they want to take what you have, but they don't want you to continue to do what you do to shine. So it's not just money. It's mm-hmm. not just stealing the stuff from you. They don't like the fact that you have a talent and an ability mm-hmm. and they're sitting in the corner. They don't have Jack. They're nondescript. They're, they're, they're below par. Nobody's thinking about them and they're mad at the attention that this guy is getting. And so I need, I, I'm entitled to what you have. Mm-hmm. How dare you that's dare evil. to be great? No, that's evil. And, and, and it's that a lot of us so-called regular folks walking around here. I, hey, hey, That's why when you, you what eight. don't you know? Lot of don't you eight. know? Don't you know? I know. <laughs> I mean, lot of eight. Yep. Lot of eight. I'm telling you, it is. It is. I very, can see it in people. It is evil. That's why I can't be bothered you, with you certain have, people. You, you look here. That's right. You have people that works very hard, very hard. Exactly. I mean, work, work really, really hard. Do a job just to say, okay, I'm gonna purchase a home. I'm gonna have a little car that I drive back and forth to work if i want to go to the supermarket or if i want to run go somewhere sometimes you may want to go to town for the weekend because you work so hard so you say okay let me take off a few extra days maybe wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday go back to work on monday so you can have the cars and people hating on you people hating on you and you're busting your ass every day they want to come in and they want to rob and kill you too you see what i'm saying oh yeah. it's just pure evil going on Pure evil, wicked people in this world, and our own people. That's what I'm saying. Our it's, own. It's a very people. dangerous thing, too. Yes, because they will do if they have it in their heart. It will eventually manifest. Because what do you say? How, how did you say it goes? A liar will steal uh, and, and become a thief, and a thief will kill and become a murderer or whatever. Mm-hmm. If you have one in if, you, if it you, festers up. Mm-hmm. Especially when your life is stalled, or you got you got your own responsibilities to take care of. Look, you know, we all are men and women. We got to face what we got to face. Don't be mad at me if mm-hmm. I face my stuff and I put myself in a certain position and had to suffer and, and be long suffering. And I got to that point. That's what, you know, that's why too many people, you can't let them get in your business because once they start can't knowing. Let them in your space. No, you can't. You can't mm-hmm. because they'll grin with you and say the right things just to watch and fester up this thing mm-hmm. inside of you. And I've been through too much of that in my life and I'm not ever going to go through that again in this life, never again. So that's why I had to clean house and there's certain people allowed and certain people you stay away. I'm not dealing with that because you know what? I plan to shine even more and I don't need any dead weight on me acting like you're in my corner, but you're secretly hating me. Once we settle, we're going to shine. 
We're going to shine big. It's not about I, I, money I, I, or anything, I, I, but, but manifesting the seeds of greatness inside of you. If you feel you don't have it, that you're too stupid to see what the creator had in you because we all have it. We all can make it in our own way. It's not my job to babysit somebody who hates on me. Oh, please don't hate on me. I'm sorry that I'm doing good. I'm sorry I got something to occupy my mind with every day and people respect me for it. Oh, you want that attention? Well, you got to go out and get it. And I'm not looking for attention. I'm just shining with what I have. But that kind of resentment, I, I you come to the conclusion with certain things. I've also come to the conclusion with certain things. In this day and age, with, with, whichever way you want to say it, spirits across the land and been released, whatever, there's a lot of that out here. Mm. There's a lot of it out here, and it ain't going nowhere soon. So what do you do? Operate in a way where you let all of the snakes in your life? No, I can't. I can't. Once you're proven to have some kind of feeling against me, that thing can grow to the point where you want to murder me, Right. So once I know that, why am I continuing to let you in my space? Get away. Don't come around me. That's as simple as that. But see, in that case, he didn't know. He didn't know these guys. You don't know them. He don't know these guys. So even they still, you got to move in that way. You're watching you. Yeah, but and I'm telling you, when, when, whenever time you find yourself in those kind of positions and you have a little more money, you should always have a, a security with you, bodyguard with you, because... At least you know you can pay someone to you know drive you around and. That's a but, shame that you and, have and to do that. It's in this a world. shame that you have to really do that. But it comes down to that, you know. And I mean, he, he had his uncle, I think, in the car with him, and he ran out the car. You know. Wow! Wow! Real? He ran because look here, guns coming and drawn and whatever. Yeah, you don't know. And and but him never have a time, you no know, run out of the car because you see that's why I don't even drive with. When I'm, when I'm in Florida, I don't drive with my window down. When Never. I come to stoplight and stuff, my window is always up. Most of the time I drive with the window because I have the AC on if mm -hmm. it's in the, in the summertime though. But sometimes you want a little fresh air. So sometimes I'll put my window down while I'm driving. But once I'm coming to a red light, I put my window up because I know how these guys are. Mm -hmm. You understand? And if you did see that coming, all him have to do wind up there, there and in that glass. You understand, understand, drag their ass down the street because they are too evil. They That's are right. too evil. Whatever they get, they would have to take it. You see what I'm saying? All that trigger would want to pull the trigger. They are just wicked men, just wicked. Mm -hmm. When I see that, I say, oh my God. You know, <laughs> to see they do some evil stuff like that and they think it's all right. And what hurts me the most is when that one in the courtroom have a smirk on his face and blowing kisses to somebody in the courtroom. That hurts me, man. That hurts me, you know, and to see yeah, but, how but, but, people but, then behaving. But, but in that. what kind of mindset, what kind of mentality is that? Like, like you're really doing something like, like it's something cool to do. Mm -hmm. Like you're at, at an award ceremony and you got the best points for overachieving and you're smirking because like you won. Mm -hmm. what, 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 you, I mean, you're in. I mean, OK, see, the thing is, is th this mentality of the street cred. You all got street street credibility, man. What the hell is street credibility? It's niggas in the street that, yeah, man, you know, free so-and-so, man. You know, he had to do what he had to do, man. So, you know, he robbed that bank, man. You know, he had a family to feed. You should have knew that before. Oh, damn. You popping out kids. Mm -hmm. You should have known that and, and built yourself up before. But then, they, like I said, we honor that first. You, you know, college may not be the way for everybody, right? But it's something you strive for. You're not hurting anybody. You can do it without it. Depending on what kind of area of expertise you want to be in. But the dude coming out of prison for, for, for killing people or robbing us or home invasions, they get the cookouts. They get the reverence. They get the parades. Yo, you back, my nigga. Hey, yeah, man. I got some work for you. Got dudes that will hand him drugs to go put them on his feet and give him money. You will send them right back in there. But the send dude that. Send them back right to prison. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the dude that came out of college, nobody says anything. Mm -mm. You see, when you have talent or a skill or you earned and got the knowledge to be able to, we know the system is not for us. We understand that. But you're making yourself better, hopefully not to fit into a system to be subservient to the oppressive forces, but to come out wise enough, even if you have to go into the system for a while to keep your thing going, but you have plans on helping your people some way by creating opportunities, 
But you don't get any applause. You don't get no barbecues. You don't get no chicks wanting to give you none because you came out of school like that. Let's be real. Those chicks that are out there, when the guy comes out of prison for so many years, there's so many wombs waiting for him to make babies with. And can he take care of them? You understand? What I'm saying is that we're all screwed up. And it's like, when you do well, there's a resentment. There's a certain faction that, that's resentful of your accomplishments. And the, and the funny part about it is, I've received it from people who, in most cases, were more accomplished than me, making money, and they're resentful about what I do. You know what I mean? It, it, you can. It's, I don't. This is, is some. That's weird. And I'm gonna tell you something. That's some B I T C H yeah. stuff. And, and 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 the the B I T C B I T C H mentality is not about saying that's a woman. It's not a woman thing. It's sexless. It's a state of mind. You are a B I T C H when you are envious on what the next man can accomplish and what the Creator gave him in his heart. To sow seeds in the world to make it a better place. Why are you jealous? I don't understand it. It's just like um, that young lady that got um, went on the trip to Mexico. Shanquila, Quela, whatever they oh, call right, her. Right, I don't right. want to. I know miss you don't her follow. Her. I don't want to. No, miss we know who you name. talk about. Yeah, but um, even she that got killed, she was doing very well for herself. And our, to what I hear people talking, she was a very nice person and everything, and the friends them and it's support always that the way. friends them and support No, it's always that and way. And she went to that trip, and what they have done to that young lady is, is, man, it's so wicked. I mean, so wicked. Her mom is going through so much. It is so wicked, I'm telling you. These, you see, our people, them, you have to be careful the company that you find yourself in. The people them that you call your friends, some of them is no good, wicked and evil. Oh, I know because that. Because if they can do that to her, and they said she was such a sweet person to them. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just, for me, I look at it like they were hating on her the whole time. The evil mm -hmm. planning all this the whole time they were planning and going on this trip them girls was planning something yeah all of yeah. them together and the guys them, they were planning they were just evil against us so we're gonna get her they plan it all That's out right. That's for right. that girl not to come back home they are wicked beautiful girl beautiful girl and these people have so much and hate and the wickedness bad boy. inside of them yeah and they don't even have, black people don't have no good sense in them head. Mm -hmm. No sense in them head. You're videotaping it and all this stuff. And you just give away on yourself. And it's so wicked. But you don't have to do it. Because evil, you know, it have to come out. What happened in the dark will come out in the light. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's, it's just pure evil going on. And, and it's, it's too much now. It is too much that is going on. I, I just can't. My father didn't raise me that way. I mean, both my parents raised me. But he, he really stressed me as a man to have that role model and um, other friends of mine close by who you know that I grew up with they've had you know strong influences in their life and and that that jealousy thing I have really I really have I can't I can't, my father maybe not to be jealous of anybody jealousy for me I think like he would say on the this is, is on the flip side of motivation if you're not motivated by what the next man does or a woman, then you are jealous. If you, if you don't have a call to action within yourself, it doesn't have to be where I'm trying to do what you're doing. But it's a wake-up call to say, stuff is being done, what are you doing? What are you doing for yourself? What are you doing unique unto yourself? There's an architect that my father uh, maintains his premises because it was a landmark property. And that's what my father specialized in. And they would live there, Right. And it would designate times when he can come by and do the maintenance work. His name was John Stonehill. He's an architect. This is back late 60s. I was five, four years old. And we knew them coming up all through the 70s. Um, up until the time of, that my father transitioned because they were there. Okay. White man, Italian man, the family. And they were mad cool. And he used to collect World War II tanks. Not the big tanks. But they had a company that made exact replicas of these different types of tanks. And he had thin shelves all the way around this one room, right? And he had the tanks that he would put together. And it wasn't like you just put two pieces together and paint it. They had all, all, these tanks had all the parts out and he had to glue it just right 
and put it right. And certain parts you couldn't put before the others, very meticulous stuff. And this is what he did because that was his mind. And then he would sit around and tell you, you point to any tank, he would tell you the story behind it, where it was manufactured and what war was used. If maybe 50 of them were made or 200 were made, how many of them, this guy, you need something to occupy your mind. So even at that age, I was motivated to do other things on my own, seeing how he was so deep into what he was doing. I had no interest in getting tank models, but he grew up in that time and evidently it affected him. So that was something he gravitated to, but he made something good out of it. I heard that um, television cameras have been at his home because of his knowledge of these tanks and the little shows that they would do. They're probably out there now. Maybe I'll run into it. But that motivated me. So when you see somebody doing something, if you're not motivated, you got to be jealous of that person or envious of that person. And again, it doesn't mean you have to go and do what they do. Maybe you would. But you say, man, look, if you sitting up there in the street on the corner, drinking some alcohol and smoking and a dude runs by you and he has a six pack, what's the natural thing to do? You say, hey, man. That guy's really in shape, you know. I think I better get in, sh in better shape. That's not jealousy. That's motivation. But if you go around, oh, them guys, I hear them guys. <laughs> they got little dicks and they uh, uh oh, Duke, they they homos and now you hating. You see what I mean? So when you have and when I see a person do that to somebody else, automatically I'm going to cancel my time with you because eventually you're going to come around and do it to me. And when you have done it to me. What do you think? You, a poof, a year or two goes by and I'm cool with you? No, you're dangerous. Get away from me. See, why am I like this? Because when I was 15, 16, 17, you know, you feel invincible, like you're going to live forever. I still feel that way, but I know better. So at the age of 60 to 80 is 20 years. I want to do so much in that time if I have that time. Now that I know life, I can't waste it with somebody who is dead weight and I already know that they're dead weight. They got nothing to offer me. And they'll turn around and say, instead of switch it on you, oh, well, nobody's better than anybody else. You know what? You're right. But some of us make better decisions and more productive decisions and use our time on a more productive level. You know how I am, sweetheart. When I wake up in the morning, I'm trying to get busy doing what I do. Till late. Look at it now. It's late. And I'm just starting. Because I'm motivated. I don't have time to be jealous of anybody. Much less kill them. Much less kill them. And we look at that also as being one of the biggest things. But remember, there are certain people out here who are so manipulative and want to kill your spirit from doing anything or manipulate you to do your thing the way they want you to do it as opposed to you doing it the way you want to do it. You got to watch out for that too because they ain't doing nothing for themselves but they want to rule over your kingdom. That ain't happening. I'm too driven. I'm too focused and I'm ghost. A lot of time people don't see me. I'm doing what I'm doing. Hey Lance, I I wonder, I thought you went back to America. Nope. I was up in there producing stuff that years from now people will absorb. That's in me. I'm not claiming or asking for an attention or whatever. This is just what I was put here to do at this particular time. And whoever don't like it, kick rocks. But one thing you're not going to do is kill my spirit. And if you come around me with that murderous spirit, I got no problem doing you before you do me. Because I'm not here for attention. I'm not here to be worshipped. I'm only here to serve and serve out my purpose. And mo most of us forget that because ego gets in the way. The sense of entitlement gets in the way. Look at him. Uh, got that big car. It should be mine. Look at him. Got that big house. It should be mine. Why should it be? Did you earn it? Did you pay your debts? To be free, to earn it? No. Then do what you got to do as a man and make things better. Stop damn being jealous of people because you know what? Whoever's envious of me is going to have a hard time in the near future because I plan to shine, shine, shine. 
righteously with the gifts that were given to me that you have nothing to do with. You can wrap it up, Miss Gerv. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to wrap it down. I'm just, I just want to say we need to really um, look into ourselves, you know, and man, stop the 18. Stop the 18. And they ain't going to do it. You don't even need to say it. Just for the good people, continue to shine. Let the haters hate. Let them burn themselves up with that. But you who are good, who have mo- you are motivated, you're on that side of the coin. Let's focus on that side of the coin because there's always going to be haters and murderers. See? You wrap it down. Me wrap it down? I done wrapped it down. It's like when you go to the bathroom and you're done, you ain't got to go back until <laughs> later on. <laughs> go ahead and do a little more for later. No, it don't work that way, sweetheart. But yeah, my thing, I tried to motivate. I'm motivated. My parents left a lot inside of me. I've been through a lot in this life. I may have lost a little time with bad decisions and entanglements of all types, but I'm still that same little kid that came up motivated. And now I have free reign to do what I need to do. And and I've been really, I have to say that there are many, several people I'm very disappointed in, very disappointed when the mask, the true mask came off, but it's not stopping me. It motivated me. And when you go for those things, you don't even have to say much because you know what you did and they know what they did and just shine and let it continue to burn them. Because if the creator put you here and gave you a mission that you understand, there's no one that can stop it. Nobody who can get in your way. They might do it for a season, but the cream always rises to the top. This is Lance Gervin. I approve this message with Lily Fire.